Hello guys, welcome back. Been a little while since uh, we've played some uh, Age of Empires and uploaded it. So, I'm just going to be showing... I've been practicing a lot against Extreme AI, as I've not really got the time with work and life and everything to play on the ladder. Whereas I can play against Extreme AI during the day, in work, I can have a game running in the background, keep pausing it, and it can take a full day. Whereas I can't really do that on the ladder. Um, but I'm up to 125% Extreme AI. Um, probably taking about 20-30 games against it. And they have gradually, gradually improved to begin. I was easily beaten 120%. And then jumping up to 125, it slaughtered me every single time. And so, as I gradually improved, I could feel myself getting closer and closer to beating it. And being more and more competitive with it. To the point where I'm at now. Where I feel like <laughs> it's still a challenge. This is the only time I've beaten it. But I feel like I'm competitive with it. Speed up a little bit through Dark Age because not a lot happens. Um, but playing against Extreme AI at 125% has really kind of pushed my efficiencies, improving in as many different ways as possible. So I do a lot of scouting now with my herdables. I'm killing the ball with the, well, weakening the ball with the TC. I'm only playing Franks because I'm just trying to get one Civ down and trying to improve my skill as much as possible just with one Civ. Plus, I always used to play with Archer Civs, Ethiopians, and Malay were my favourite two Civs for a long time. So I've decided to start adding in a more cavalry based Civ just so I can get more practice with Malay and Malay fighting and stuff instead of relying on Archers and range. I'm not losing my scout anymore for TC fire, which I was doing a lot at 120% AI, but I'm still winning. I need my scout for it, for this 125%, so I have to be much more careful. I'm doing 21 pop up. So, scouting the enemy's base worked out based on these buildings and the, the terrain that his TC's around here. He's up because he's Malay, so he's, he's gone up fairly quick. He went up on 21 pop, I think, as well, but without loom. And obviously, exp uh, researchers feud lage a lot quicker. So, just scouting around his base, I know exactly where his TC is. I know where his gold, he's got a wood line here, there's a potential future wood line here and here. I've got the front of my base walled up so my berries are safe. My gold's the next area to defend. So I'm walling up around my gold. Got the military building here. Really, my military building should go here. Well, it's there. And now I've worked out his bases down this way, so I'm going to make sure I get the front of my base walled as well. Straight away, he's producing scouts. I've already got the double, double bit axe. villagers worth of TC idle time, which is a bit annoying. I'm a couple of villagers behind now because Hicks uh, researches feudal faster so he can research, make more villagers. His archers are here so we'll leave them there. My scout's on auto scout now. I've figured out where all his base is. I know where to attack and do damage. First villager kill. He's nowhere in sight. I'm nearly walled up here. This side's walled. All the front of my base is walled. 
Just this last Yuffie. bit, which I'm gradually building when I get time. Now all his archers are at home, so I don't really need to worry about walling that much anymore. Got another, vi another villager kill, so that's two each villagers dead. I lost one scout doing so. He's got a lot of archers. And skirms. So back home, drop on the market. I know I'm safe now because I'm fully walled. I'm running around his base, I've killed two of his villagers. So I have a two villager lead. Fully walled now. Blacksmith coming down as well. I've got the resources to click up. So I click up. Clicked up ahead of him, but he'll catch me up because he's Malay. I did sell my stone to get up. But I don't boom against the AI on Arabia. Just commit to one TC. Constant villager production, but constant military production as well. So I don't know where everything in his base is. I've got a really good idea. He's got two archery ranges. I haven't got anywhere near his TC, but I know exactly where it is. Back home, got an archery range coming down. So I've got one stable, one archery range. So sorry, he's on archers, and he's got some spears. Build all my buildings at the front, reinforcing the walls as much as possible. So if he breaks through this gate, it's easy to reap the wall behind. This is double walled here, so he's not getting in there, so I don't need to worry massively about that. But he's obviously got pikes. Yeah. With upgrades on. And his crossbow. So I'm just starting to walk. Produce military now. Still got these scouts, but they're weak. I can't really do a lot of damage with them. I forgot I hadn't got fletching yet, so I kept sending these in, hopefully to pick at these guys. And he just takes them out. I haven't got fletching yet. So I'm quickly adding some more walls behind just to keep them out. Still not done enough damage, but running around his base looking for easy kills. Try not to lose my knights. Now my base is safe, although he's got a ramp forward. I spot that. Staying level on villagers as well still, even though he'll be booming behind this. In fact he's not. He normally has an extra TC. I didn't realise. Yep. Okay. But Yep, still staying level, village wise. Scouted the whole map pretty much. Still staying level, villagers. On one TC. Oh, he's got another TC coming up here. So that's the second TC. Again, I'm fully walled. I reinforced this wall that he was attacking before, just in case he comes back. Weak knight still running around. Scout as a third TC. He's got a slight villager lead now, but again, he's on three TCs now. I've nearly got full upgrades on my skirms and knights in Castle Heach. Now coming up with this gold. Now I've secured this front. Still got my scout running around his base, just keep an eye on things. 
The Extreme AI recently had a few updates and they now wall quite well. This house wall he's got here. Just making attacking him a bit more difficult. But he's pulling ahead now in villagers. And I'm just got, doubling down on military. More and more and more military. More and more upgrades. More and more production buildings. Get the castle on the front. Protect the front of my base. Protect this gold. Provide some protection for this gold. Sort of a choke point between these two tree lines on a hill. Just massing more and more military. He's got resources to click up. I haven't. Okay, there he goes. He clicks up. He'll be up any minute now. And I feel I've got enough military to go forwards. Villager lead on me, but I've got way more military than him. Obviously, he's now him. I'm not. I'm getting more upgrades. Ballistics. I'll be the final upgrade I need. The military I'm producing. Be fully upgraded in Castle then. Both armors, both attacks. And just protecting this area. I was going to build a castle here with these villagers, but decided here's better. He's building a castle here, which I can't have seen yet. And I'm just keeping military around this area, luring all of his attacks under my castle as much as possible. Now my two castles, and only going forward when. I know. I need. I can win a little fight. He's still got 20 villager lead, but my military is way above his. Obviously, he's an age above me, but I'm getting close to clicking up now. And there we go. I've clicked up. Back home. My base is nice and secure. No ways in. Times felt like it took forever because I was just waiting for traps for this castle. I couldn't really go forward and attack these buildings. And he had TCs everywhere. Straight away getting cavalier conscription and final armor for my cavalry. And cube up the treb. And I'm only 10 villages behind now. Still massively the military. First trebs out. Still after all this time I've only had 42 seconds of idle TC. 45 minutes of gameplay, only 42 seconds of idle TC time. So I've kept my TC working the whole game. And I've got a decent score lead now. Trev in his castle. Closing in on villagers. Still got a massive military lead. Now taking into uh, infantry armor. I'm going to start producing some thrown axemen.
level on villagers now. Got no military left. I'm just swarming him. idle. I don't need any more villagers. Just pure. I can feel myself winning this game already, so I'm just going into pure military now. I'm trying to spend all my resources as much as possible. But yeah, the game's pretty much over now. 45 villagers, 40 odd villagers. He has no resources. Can't produce or do anything. Upgrades. Just missing the last armor. My throw an axeman. And that's the GG. So, yeah, first time I've beaten 125% extreme AI. I'd probably about 20 odd goes against him. Three feudal, he was getting a bit of a military lead. And I was relying more on walls and just I uh, sorry yeah, and through castle. But then once we hit imp I started making some good progress on him. He always had a slight economy lead on me. The whole game. But because of the bonus they have at 125%, I don't think it's possible to keep up, especially through Feudal Age. And then Castle Age, when they can boom, they can afford to boom and make military. I can't, I can't manage to do both. Not at that level. But I just, from Castle Age, I just focused on keeping my TC busy but producing and upgrading my military as much as possible. Happy with my up times as well. Really close to him for feudal and castle. The imp time's not as as critical. And my one TC got very close to matching his max villagers. But we made 198 villagers in total, so I killed 98 of them, whereas I made 91, didn't lose a single one. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video anyway.